So when you sleep, <coughs> there are four stages of sleep. And one and two and three and REM. Okay. N1 and N2 are considered <coughs> kind of awake. You know, only little bit you are asleep and you can still hear things around you and you are not really gone into sleep and if someone takes your name, you may wake up. Right? That's N1 and N2. Now N3 is deep sleep. In N3, what happens is your brain is printing out your body for tomorrow. Yes? If you have enough N3, you get a younger, healthier body. If you don't have enough N3, you get an older, unhealthier version of yourself. <coughs> Basically, if you don't sleep, you are growing older. Number one. The other side of sleep is REM. REM sleep. In REM sleep, there are two big things that are happening. One is your dreams, where the brain plays back images and movies from your day and for from your life. Now why it does this? It does this so that it feels a sense of time. Right. Now what did you do today morning? First thing in the morning what did you do? Brushing. You brushed your teeth. Alright. Then what did you do? Took a bath. You took a bath. Then what did you do? Came here for the course like session. Then you did the session. Now how will you remember this tomorrow? That is what is happening in your REM sleep. Your brain is sorting out your memories and chronologizing, chronologizing them. Right? Has anybody been in under general anesthesia? <coughs> Put your hands up. Anybody has been? Did you notice when you woke up out of, out of general anesthesia, you had no sense of time? You had no idea how long you were out. It could have been 5 years, it could have been 10 minutes. Yes or no? Yes. Right? So when you are sleeping, the REM gives you a sense of time. It, that's why I said time is an illusion. <laughs> right? Your brain is doing that to you. It, like when you wake up in the morning, you kind of feel, ha, I must have slept maybe 5, 6 hours, 8 hours, whatever. You have a sense of time. When you are under anesthesia, you have no sense of time whatsoever. In fact, if you ever take a sleeping pill, the same thing happens. That's why sleeping pills are no good. Because you don't really sleep. It's like being knocked out. Bang. <laughs> it's not sleep. It's being. It's it's unconsciousness. <coughs> okay, that's why sleeping pills are a big sham. They only feel. They people only think that they sleep. It is not. They are not sleeping because they don't get the REM sleep at all. The second thing that your brain does during REM sleep is it brings insights. Have you noticed you are struggling with a problem, you go to sleep, you wake up in the next morning, ah, yes, got it, solution. <laughs> happens? <laughs> That's your brain at work. That is what happens during REM sleep. So again, if you don't get enough sleep, then that REM does not happen, REM does not happen, the smart insights in your life don't happen. Mm -hmm. So not sleeping makes you dumber and older. Oh man. Oh man. <laughs> yeah. This is part of the yogic fitness course. You are getting a sneak preview. Yeah. All right. It makes you dumber and older. Not having enough sleep. Now what is enough sleep? 8 hours minimum non-negotiable. 8 hours a night minimum non-negotiable for a normal human being. I am not talking about his holiness. Okay. If your photo is over there, do what you want. <laughs> Meanwhile, do what science says. <laughs> They'll say tell our yoga teacher. <laughs> that, that, that is their problem. <laughs> okay. If you do not have enough sleep, your body and your brain degrades in as little time as eight days. In eight days, scientifically provable degradation of body and brain happens. It's very scary. Okay, it's very scary. Also, not enough sleep will produce something in your brain called amyloid beta, which is basically an open invitation to dementia, Alzheimer's and Parkinson's as you grow older. Okay, so you will die also very painfully. Right? 
one of the biggest things that you can do for yourself to improve productivity, creativity, efficiency, etc., 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 is simply sleep. <laughs> Okay. In fact, there is a sleep doctor, a sleep researcher who has had an open challenge. He's kept an open challenge which has not been met for the last 25 years. Where he has said, anybody who can tell me that I can get by on say 6 hours of sleep a night. <coughs> right? You come to my lab and spend 10 days, we will allow you 6 hours of sleep. We will not allow you more than that and I will prove to you using my laboratory and my machines that your brain and body has degraded within the 10 days. Nobody has been able to uh, meet that challenge yet. Nobody. Okay. The other very very scary thing about sleep is people who are sleep deprived don't know that they are sleep deprived. So even if you feel, oh, I am all right, <coughs> you're not. Okay, so please sleep. <laughs> if you enjoyed this video, then I would really, really appreciate if you like, comment, share, and subscribe to our channel, BND TV.